Alright, so just about a month ago, this dude named Bobby Meissner uploaded a video called Life of a Billionaire's Son. Your life is like a movie, and you're the main character. So why wouldn't you make it the greatest movie you've ever seen? You get the idea where this is going, right? <laughs> Who is Bobby? So the video is about 8 minutes long, hyper-produced vlog-style masterpiece by Baby. So he's kind of trying to break the mold, I think. He is a self-proclaimed billionaire's son, but he's like, Hey, listen mate, here's a little bit of a little life. I'm a bridge, okay, I'm a bridge. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a spot rich kid, okay? But, but you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna flex on you guys. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a spoil rich kid, but, uh, but I will flex on you guys, you know what I got? Um, um, I got parties, I got girls, I got um, fast cares, if the boom, 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 if the boom. I've always hated how just because someone is born into a family of wealth, people automatically label them as a spoiled brat. Yes, my dad has a private jet, and I love flying in it. Yes, my dad has a mansion and cars, and I love making videos with them. Who wouldn't? <laughs> But I have never pretended that those things were something that I earned. Fast cars, beautiful girls, parties. And just to mention, the B-roll. My god. A lot, a lot of B-rolls in there. A lot, a lot of. But you watch it and realize in his attempt to break the mold of what it means to be a stereotypical rich kid, uh, he just makes himself look more like a stereotypical rich kid. When I first moved out here, I imagined my life to be like a movie. Girls sipping cocktails by the swimming pool. Fast cars through the hills. The craziest parties. Guess what? Most of it came true. Guess what, bitch? Most of it came true. Cause money's not an issue. Cause I'm a billionaire's son. And you know what else there is? Parties. That's right, bitch. I throw epic parties. And you know what else I got? Beautiful girls. And I get laid every day. So suck on that, virgins. <laughs> Parties. Now naturally, this type of content is gold for commentary YouTubers. But unfortunately, I missed the boat because um, I don't know how to make videos. I'm out of ideas. Please help me. Thank you. But thank God, Bobby uploaded a new video called How I Went Viral Through the Bobby Meisner. So let's just jump into it. How's it going bros? Welcome to a new video. My name is Jeff Skyward. Now you must be thinking to yourself, uh, that's a pretty long intro you got right there. Bear with me, first time here, okay? I don't know how to make good videos, so, you know. Just over three weeks ago, I only had 1,000 subscribers. This is a story about how one viral video changed everything. And I did it all with one concept. The provocative truth. The provocative truth that change everything. Listen, Bobby, you just uploaded a video about how rich you are, and a bunch of commentary YouTubers made a video about you because let's just be honest here, it was obnoxious as hell, okay? So let's not just get ahead of ourselves about this whole provocative truth bullshit. I mean, we're talking millions of views. Once again, my life was about to change forever. And I almost let one thing stop me. Fear. Provocative. Okay, that's relatable. On Saturday the 1st of December, Christmas came early. I skyrocketed 1.3 million views in 24 hours. And that was it. My video was well and truly viral. It's now at 3.4 million views, over 100,000 likes, 145,000 subscribers, over 17,000 comments. There was an overwhelming amount of support and love, more than I could have ever imagined. But when a video blows up, especially as one as provocative as mine, provocative. there is bound to be hate. Videos from a Tozzi, a life of a billionaire's son, Fillion. If I were to summarize this content, it would be villas and gallows. Jack made. 
why? Because he wears a beanie hat in 35 degree heat. Will me. Well, to be fair though, mate, when you are this rich, you can't just do what you want with it. But honestly, I thought they were pretty funny. Never done before, guys. Never done before. Never done before. So a lot of people say that I've never worked for my own money, but it isn't true. When I was kicked out of school, I went back to Australia, where I worked in a bar picking up glasses for a whole year. Yeah, like every uh, not rich kid works on a bar, right? Uh -huh. High five. And I lived off nothing but the money that I earned, but I hated this job. I can't imagine how traumatic it must have been. Provocative. <laughs> The difference in film is, I love my work, so it no longer feels like work to me. And this is how I was able to achieve something that I- Uh, be roll again, guys, watch out for that, uh, if you missed it. Excuse me, but can we talk about this scene for a second? Like, the lead up to this, like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Max, uh, can, can you just, uh, um, uh, go, uh, go below my, um, the thing and, um, uh, filling me like this, eh? Meh? Okay. Now the one thing that I hate spending money on is air travel. I fly economy everywhere. The only time that I fly private is when my dad's jet happens to be going somewhere and he'll be kind enough to let me hitch a ride. I never went on a plane before. Now we get a tons of a uh, sexy b-roll with him and his friends smoking cigarette around New York. How humble can you get? Provocative. Nope, nope, uh, can't show this because it's copyrighted. Yeah, don't want to get this video taken down in any way. This is how you know when someone's... They just put in their copyrighted music in their vlogs on YouTube. Nice flex, bro. Honestly. Since I've been given this dream opportunity, I'm going to be announcing an upload schedule. Twice a month, starting January. A rest in peace, up upcoming vloggers, including Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Billionaire's son Bobby Meister just announced his upload schedule and he has unlimited resources to make those sexy b-rolls, so fuck yeah. Wait, what? He addresses about this? Okay, let's watch. It's gonna be fun. Music is one of the most important aspects in life for me. So if I'm gonna tell my stories in the best and most truthful way possible, I need to be giving you the music that I'm actually listening to and that I actually love. God, you make me sick, Bobby. The audacity to flex on us poor YouTubers. We have to use royalty-free music. Because I don't have money to buy copyrighted music. I'm poor as fuck. Fuck you, Bobby Meister. The fashion brand. We are still in the process of designing, branding, and sampling. What is that one thing that every spoiled rich kid end up doing? Yes, they start their own fashion brands. Provocative. <laughs> Bobby, I'm proud of you, but he didn't talk about how viral he went. Maybe it's the provocative truth. Provocative, but in reality, but it's really because the internet loves to take the piss on the provocative douche. But can you really hate the guy? Yeah, because he's a douche. A little bit of a douche. But he's not. He's not hateable. He was born into a money of wealth. He wants to make a couple of YouTube vlogs. Big deal. Fly around a private jet. Get those sexy b-rolls all over the place. Parties. Beautiful girls. Fast cars. So Bobby Meister, Papa Blast mate. So what do you guys think? Is Bobby Meister the next Casey Neistat? I mean he's got the resources. He's got the parties. He's got those beautiful girls. Sexy Lambos. And in the end, thank you guys for watching. I know I'm not good at making videos. This video is 90% mm, copied from Leon Lust. I'm sorry. I'm just learning, guys. Thank you.